The transfer from FIU comes in making 17 of 19. Not his prettiest, but the line drive is good from 46. And the guy who would be a worthy winner of the Groza Award. He fake it to him, and now Hal looking to launch downfield. It's Brown, he's got it inside. Deami Brown, dynamic play to the Miami 12. Williams running to the left behind both tight ends who shifted over down near the goal line. Signal short. Jennings and Jonathan Ford stopped him. Can run through the backers that, that get upfield. This is Jennings, 44, who comes clean. Boom, right there. But look at that contact. Chris going back. Oh, I think he may have gotten that. Or hand it off to the big man. Option. Williams will walk in and just leap across the goal line for what's a milestone touchdown for him. Jalen Phillips right here is a simple read. And then you got all three receivers out here manned up. But instead of worrying about running a route, they're just going to make a block, a little pitch. And now you got you got the big man, Javante Williams, who can walk into the end zone. You got an incredible day with the Surratt family coming up on draft day. His brother Sage is a receiver away for us. He's also a top two pick. Look out. Carter's in the secondary. And down the sidelines. It's a foot race. Can they catch him? They cannot. The heels. Three possessions, three touchdowns, stretch the lead. Miami's going to get upfield, and when they get upfield, you can get underneath them. That's what they wanted to do in this game, get upfield, make them pay for being vertical as a defensive line, and then that's just poor tackling in the back end by Miami. It's one thing to... to Manny Diaz has been very calm on the sidelines, just checking in with his players. They're trying to work it out. No, they can't contain Williams again. He's off and running. Another foot race. They're trying to run him down, and they do, but it's down near the Miami 10. Ivy saved the touchdown, but a huge run for 25. From an angle, and he knocks it right through, so touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. When you got a running back who's sending messages to big hitting safeties, and then breaking tackles and going for the end zone again, this is getting ridiculous. Heels stretch the lead, and it's Carter who joins his backfield mate Williams in the end zone. Another missed tackle for Miami. Watch how they come into this. Because Carter is so short, imagine being a linebacker and trying to find Michael Carter first. That's the first thing. So he's able to get through there, and then it's just poor effort and bad angles by the defensive backs. I mean, he's he's five, he's listed at 5'8". I like it when he puts the answer up he, early he, and then asks us the yeah. question. That's, that's I love that. <laughs> Howell from the goal line for Brown. He's got it. Three Canes trying to chase him down. And he's finally tackled at the five. Wow. Yes, yes. Total domination. My tack at all. King rolls and flips it. And there's a touchdown. Mike Harley, who's been the hot receiver coming in with his sixth touchdown of the season, the first for the Canes this afternoon. You see it right there at the end of the end of the motion, and then you end up taking the outside receiver, Pope. Back in the game, looking for his third score on second and goal. Howell and a keeper, and stretching for the goal line. Touchdown! He did break the plane, they say, with the football. And a fifth rushing touchdown. Another check here. Yeah, Chris, I, I think what you said is accurate. I think he had the, the stretch out right there to break the play in the nose of the ball. I didn't feel challenged against De'Ara King and his speed, and they played with that attitude the entire game. It's Jordan down the seam. He escapes, and he's going to score. Revan Jordan, a touchdown of 76 yards. That's one for his highlight reel on an otherwise tough day for the Hurricanes. Give uh, give Jordan credit here. He gets matched up one on one with Don Chapman, who's given him a lot of room to work. A little outside move he bites on. And then Derek, Derek King, who's showing Sam Howell that he has that same accuracy downfield when he has time to throw. And he's got a receiver that's get, that is able to get separation, puts it right on the money for a nice play for the Canes. This guy's safe for the 11 days between the selection and the semifinals. Two point play. King has time, zips it on a dime, and it's good. D. Wiggins with the grab. To that backer and plenty of room to run. Williams bounces it again. Adds to his total. He's just banging into 
people still go, and he's just having fun tonight. He's still running. Man dragged down inside the 20. Relentless. He didn't care what the score is. He's just having the time of his life out there. Everybody nice in, and again, he's able to bounce out, and then he gets, look at, look at the balance. Look, look at the contact balance and the determination. Try to get the ball in space underneath. Looking for a big play on second and one. Downfield, and Russell for the football. It's intercepted. The top defensive back corner in a couple years. Again, you said a senior in high school. He's beaten. Ball is behind, but he doesn't give up on it, Chris. The ball's in there, and then he fights a back to get the ball. Watch how the ball is in there, and then how he tries to reach in and steal it before. It's a testament to his confidence. He's not short on that. Carter in the seam, in the clear, foot race. Can they get him? Yeah, they're going to finally catch him at the 15. But now Carter. More clock they're able to chew on. Powell under center. Toss sweet. Reverse. Grows. Flip it into the quarterback. Trickery. And Mac Brown pouring it on. Manny Diaz and Miami. The quarterback, but that is a big time throw by Groves. He kind of bobbled it almost right He did. Right. Picks his way and falls into the end zone. So Miami scores for a second time in the second half. Well, this side of the ball is continuing to, to compete. Left side of that offensive line does just enough. Picks up Surratt, who's been leaking and getting into the backfield. But King on the slant and it's caught by Mallory so they've executed the two-point conversions well today might choose to return play one more year at quarterback is that you try to get some separation from those guys oh my. Carter again oh my goodness spinning twisting adding to his total finally banged out inside the 10 Added a little bit of an extra step to him with some energy and he's got his line playing great and they're all back next year this offensive line how Play fake, flips it in the flat, catch made by Morales, and the tight end stretches for a touchdown. And that's Howell's first touchdown pass. But Sam Howell gets pressured. Watch his arm angle change. He gets back underneath, and then he's got a, under, almost a sidearm, just flips it out there. Like 69 years young in August, Ms. Mack, same age as Saban. Williams bounces it and then just outraces the defense to the pylon for his third touchdown. And the Tar Heels up over 60 this afternoon. Continues to add to that record. Is he, too, is he too exhausted to throw the hands up in the air? Finally, he may have, he may have worn out on this. No, no I, don't, I, don't think he, <laughs> I don't think he is at all. Early signing period coming up. Chris Well bobbles the snap and just has to fall on it in what should be the final play of this game. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.